All right, this one's going to be on this Pro script called YouTube Viewer. It's actually pretty awesome. Um, what it'll allow you to do is search for YouTube videos and do some filtering. You can actually download from it too, but from the command line, all right. So it's a Perl script, so you don't need to install Perl and maybe some other modules with it. And you're definitely going to need mPlayer, okay. Um, it does everything, like I said. The only thing I think is missing is like conversions to like MP3s or something like that. And you know, you can't really read YouTube comments, which um, maybe they have in the future, you know, because they're still updating and all that. So uh, maybe in the future we'll have it. Anyway, let's show you what it looks like here when we use this here. So you do uh, YouTube viewer and then you search for a string like, um, yeah, I'll just search for a name here. If you want, well, this is how it looks like by default when you do this, right? But if, you know, it's all white right there, if you want color, you can go do the same thing, go dash capital C and you have color. So you see the white part is uh, you know the the numbers and the you know the titles in yellow and then who uploaded it and then the time right so right now if you want to watch uh, one of them let's say I want number eight there's eight here and you can see that it's playing with M player you can skip using was it the arrow keys if you want or go back forward so on and so forth um, close this off now when you close it up it loops back to here and then you can just select uh, another one if you want so let's say I want to select number 19 right and there you go you can do that now when you have it open they'll tell you you know the author the time and all that even the title here and if you scroll up a little bit you have the what is this here the description right so and when you close it off it'll loop back to this thing. Um, if you want to download it, let's say I want to download, um, I don't know, number 20, right? So you go dash D 20 and I'll download that one right there. So we'll wait for it, I guess. Actually, it's taking too long. I'll just cancel it. But if we get out of here, you can see that it's downloading that was at the play on Linux one and at this you can play it a little bit of it I guess there you go right using M player so that's what you can do you can download and you can search from it and uh, you can actually filter it from it too so let me give you another example um, let's go dash H again so if you want to filter it um, like your search results or whatever it is you can do it by time right you say I want to search it today or this week or this month you can do that um, the other one is uploaded by a specific user so this is a dash U and so on and so forth so let me give you an example of that so if we go dash U I just type my name right and we'll do a uh, dash C for color also and there you go this is what's been uploaded by me although it's not really um, I think it's in order yeah it is in order okay um, if you want to search for like a string let's say a search for I don't know um, Linux Mint but we want this in a uh, time of what is it what time do we want we want um, this month how about that and I'll show you the time this month that whoever uploaded it by different users right so there you go that's how you do some filtering if you want to do that um, what's some other option go dash H again Oh yeah, here, here's the thing that I, I like to use it for. Um, I was thinking, you know, how Spotify had like music you can just search for it, but Spotify it, you have to download their stupid client, and that thing is not always the greatest. I like using my command line for it. So, you know, YouTube has just about almost every song, and so 
if you use this program and all you gotta do is suppress the the video and you have the audio and stuff like that right so this is what I do well if you go all here the uh, dash dev, you know capital A here this will play all the video results in order so it's kinda like a playlist when you're doing your you know your search results and the other one is to suppress it so, so you say dash n and this is no video right so there's no video it's just gonna play the audio portion so for example um, let's do that again here no not this well we'll go dash n for no uh, video and um, what's that dash capital A for all of them so if I search for let's say um, Dido it's gonna play it in order right so right now it's playing um, you can't hear it because I don't want the YouTube copyright shit but right now it's playing the Dido here with me if I press Q it'll quit and go to the next one right now it says uh, Dido thank you but basically it's playing from this um, this list here right in that order um, so yeah you can use it like kinda like Spotify you know and just press Q to, if you want to like stop the whole loop and everything just push uh, control C and it will stop it but yeah that's how you would do it if you want to listen to music but using uh, YouTube now this other option let me see here we have um, it's for people to have slow connection so you know you don't want to you know max out your bandwidth or something maybe you have a bandwidth cap um, I think they have it in here somewhere um, what is that yeah if you, if you want to play like different videos uh, resolution that they have like 1080p 720p and all that I think they have some other one for users that have a, a low bandwidth yeah there we go this is the one uh, dash L okay and this is for people with slow connections so you can still download stuff and, and play stuff but uh, at a lower resolution and other stuff you can do in here but it's, it's too many so play around with it if you really want to use YouTube from the command line the good thing about this there ain't no fucking flash right you can use it here bad thing about it like I said is um, they don't have the YouTube comments I kinda like the YouTube comments because you know you see people talk shit and all that and, and that's fun uh, the other thing is that they don't have mp3 conversions but you know there's a whole bunch of other converters you can use like ffmpeg to convert it so or strip it doesn't really matter right anyways that's the YouTube viewer uh, pretty awesome if you're a command line user uh, go ahead and, and use that either for music or for videos or for both right that's it for this one